My name is Joshua Prince at PrinceWorks Forge on Instagram, and I'll be taking you through using this coal iron press. I've got a couple of projects. The first one is a piece of crucible steel that I made back at home and brought out to uh, make a camp to work on. And the folks at Coal Iron were nice enough to let me use their equipment. First step with this is to get the material hot and just kind of touch it on all surfaces and see how the material behaves. It's high risk of fracture in the early stages of forging, so you really want to take it light. These big flat dies work great for that. Just a little touch, not so long to suck all the heat out of it and not really pressing the same area more than once. Once I'm more confident with the material, I establish a couple of flats on two faces and I'm drawing this billet out with the top of the ingot as the center of the billet. That's important because that area will usually have more problematic material in it. Most of what I've uh, learned and put into practice is from uh, Peter Schwartzberg, so thank you, Peter. Just in case I ran out of things to do, I brought along this piece of uh, feathered Damascus billet. It was actually cut off of a much larger parent stock, and it's uh, roughly preformed to a knife shape with the point sort of defined in uh, the bolster tang area yet to be defined. So the first thing I'll be doing is taking this to the coal iron press, using a top block and doing a set down to define the bolster tang transition, which you see there. Then I take it to the anvil and start to bring the heel down and sort of define the bolster, give it a little bit more shape, uh, moving back and forth. Here I have got some fullering dies and just trying to uh, draw that material out and bring the heel down. Going back and forth between the uh, pressed dies and then I'll be working off of the anvil to try to fight that bulge that usually will start to show up pretty early in the forging at the top of the knife here you can see between the bolster and the uh, blade trying to knock that back down on the anvil of course when you move one area on hot steel the other areas are also affected so just a matter of working it back and forth got to use the uh, guillotine tool here that's made by john ariani and cliff dufton great piece of equipment and I got a nice shape out of it and took it over to um, the Broadbeck tent. Vince and Ryan were nice enough to let me spend a little time stripping the scale off and trying that machine out, which was great. And uh, this will be finished up after a little bit of normalizing. This will be finished up back at my home shop. Uh, this is another blade with a very similar pattern. It's from the same stock. Uh, this pattern will be probably more compressed because it's a much smaller blade. Thanks for uh, checking it out.